Welcome back to my one chunk journey, where I play this account one chunk at a time. This is the current chunk that I'm stuck in. Last episode we completed the slayer portion of the chunk by getting locked behind a lizard task, and we made some headway on the wyverns. This episode we're getting straight into the action by doing some achievement diaries. If you enjoy, leave a like. It's time to complete the chunk. We can complete the easy, we've got one more thing to do, smith some blurite limbs on Doric's anvil. And then with that, we have the necessity to do mediums and we can do most of these except for visiting the rat pits in Port Sarum. Bah. Limbs, valid or easy completed. Good stuff. Let's go to Sir Rebral to get our reward. It is quite an achievement to finish a diary already. Or I guess not already, because it's been a while on the account. I have played it for like 120 days, so... Yeah, nice. Did we just get the shield? We did. Look at that. Fairly shield. That is also a best in slot for... Yeah, prayer. Best in slot shield. And I can recharge prayer with it? How much? Poof. I think I can do that daily, can't I? That's nice. Nice little item to have. And our lamp. We'll chuck it on Herbie. Good stuff. Medium time now. All right, I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need in the inventory for the mediums. I'm making bullseye lantern lighting it somehow here, but how? Oh wait, do I just straight up do this? Oh, easy enough. All right, that's um, that's one Falador diary done. I thought I needed to do something with the chemist, but I guess not. Use the sack on the hay bale. Put this stuff together. Make the scarecrow. And we'll put our little scarecrow down here. Another medium diary, good. Well, this will be easy enough. Just smack some gold. Another diary down. This will be another one here to chop and burn a willow right here in Taverly. Job done. Good stuff. If I put this initiate stuff on, pray here. Bit of a weird task, I guess, but that's another medium. Yoink. Another medium. One more to go. One more I can do. The grapple. There we go. Mediums. All that I can do completed. If I could do that one last one for the rat pits, I could move on to the hard, but the hards aren't necessary for the moment. So let's move on, do some other easies elsewhere. Alrighty, quickly doing our desert task. This is the only desert task we can do. Just picking up five of these. And there we go. Desert task completed. Now I've got a couple of wilderness ones to do. And then I think we're done. For the wilderness, there's only two to do. Kill an earth warrior, which we've already done doing Slayer, and the other one's to collect five red spider eggs. And then that'll be GG for the diaries. One, two, three, four, five. With that, the diary tasks are all done for this chunk. Moving on to stash units now. All right, let's get started on these stash units, starting with this one. Boom. And there's another one right here. Put some more stuff in there, very good. Another one here, easy one this time. Boom, more stuff. Another one here at the palace. One stash unit here in Lumbridge. Easy done. In the Draenor area now to do some more. Got one right over here on the bridge. Fill it up with more junk. Another one here in the market. Easy peasy. By the crossroads. There we go. That's the ones in the Draenor area done. I missed this one down here in the Lummy Caves, but... Let's go. That's a medium one. Here in Felidor now to get a couple more done. Boom. Put more junk in there. Another one at the party room. Boom. One here on Port Sarum. Very good. Remington Mine here. Easy game. Another easy one by our mates the Mogas. F I didn't get planks. There we go. That's that stash unit. There's two mediums I can do here, but there's three. I don't know which ones they are, so I'm just going to build them and try to fill them. One of them I can't because I can't get the items. I guess it's this one that I can't fill. But we can fill this one. Good. Up in the desert now. Couple here. One here in the PvP arena. One over there at the mines. There we go. There's that one too. Dash unit right here to do in Taverly. I need planks. All right. There's that one done. Second last one. There we go. And one more to go. And this is the last one I can do. There you go. That is all my stash units completed. All of the ones I could do. There's more dotted around the map, but I can't get the items for them. Man, if you go back and look at the timer from when I begun doing this, I don't even know how long it's been, but I've been an absolute bumbling fool running around collecting items, doing stash units, realizing I don't have things in the bank, going to collect more things. <laughs> but we did it. We got there in the end. Now it's time for construction. 
Quick reminder, we need to plant the highest tier bagged plant in our house. I did most of this construction grind in the background. Here's a look at some of the highlights. Here comes level 66 construction and I'm also under 100,000 clay. That is amazing. Not that I'm going to use it all, but I am under. Very nice. 69 construction. Nice. Here comes level 70 construction. Beautiful. Slowly getting there. 73 construction now. This inventory marks 1 million construction XP. My goodness, we are making it. Have a look. Have a look right here. 1 million. Woohoo! Something I also did in the background was the small crafting grind of this chunk. So let's have a quick look at that. All right, so I need to get myself a couple of crafting levels here. I need to go from 85 to 87. That shouldn't be too bad. I've got a couple of options. I've got all these gems I can use. And first up, I'm going to cut all these. And that's probably going to be enough to get me to 86 because I'm pretty close to that already. I also have the option of using the dragon hide, all of this stuff here and wherever I put the blue stuff as well, but I've got a heap of dragon hide. Problem is I don't really have a good tanner, so I'm not going to use those. So instead, I'm just going to keep going with the gems and make some more jewelry, maybe some more uh, sapphire rings or ruby necklaces, whatever. But yeah, I'll just start off cutting these for now and see how we go. 86 crafting, just cutting these gems. That is all of the gems in the bank cut, but I tell you what, I've still got all these unidentified minerals that I didn't end up using yet towards the clay, and thank goodness I didn't, because I've ended up with so much more clay than I needed, so I'm going to go buy some more bags of gems with these. I've got 85 of these bags to open, so let's go ahead. And wow, that's plenty, uh, plenty more gems to cut, look at them. This is the rest of the gems from the unidentified minerals as well, and I'll just go to a furnace now and make some more jewellery. Here comes the 87 crafting. We can now make the Dorgashan light orb, and here is the orb. Completed. And now back to construction. I'm gonna make oak shells too now. Prep me for the boost, getting the boost. Now there's just a little bit more construction XP to go. This inventory right here is my last very last time hopefully of ever doing this clay and you may think you know that's kind of weird because this is not a level up this is not anything this is just an amount of xp there's 18k to go you're 73 you're not even level 78 to use a plus two boost to 80 what are you doing well if you remember i have bones in the bank long bones curve bones and with those the xp will go all the way up to 78 exactly. All right, this is the one we need, the tall box hedge. Let's grab that. So I've still got all this crazy amount of clay left. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. That is so much clay. But uh, yeah, got all of these long and curved bones here in the bank. I'm going to head over to Dorgish Khan now and drop a massive XP bomb. Are you ready for this? 109 long bones, 9 curved bones. Ready? 550k XP. Level 78 construction, baby. We're here. Easy game. Woo. All right, so let's get this boost sorted. I don't know what I need. Teapot, kettle. Um, remove one unit of tea leaves from the larder that I have. Use the kettle on the sink that I have. Um, okay. Okay, take two. Oh my goodness, what a process to make a cup of tea. Who would have thought? Fuck. <laughs> oh no. I've done it again. <sighs> How? Take three. Look at that, we boiled some water. Tea leaves. Teapot. Hot kettle. Teapot. Hot tea. Cup. We did it, that's the boost. Oh my goodness. So we'll drink our boost, our construction is 80, build the hedging, tall box hedge, I need a watering can, I need a watering can, <laughs> what is going on man? Let's actually do it this time, drink the tea, and build the hedging, there you go, that's it, that is the construction task finally done, and is it time to roll the chunk? It is not. Because I have made a sneaky little discovery. Let's have a look over here at this chunk. Remember this fence? I can't get through there? Well, guess what? I can get through there. 
I can use the dig site teleport. Teleports to the dig site. Okay, that's within the chunk. I can go do a Soul's Bane quest. However, this chunk, I'm not going to make it rollable because I only have a finite amount of dig site teleports. So let's say, for example, I run out of the dig site teleports. I can't get into that chunk anymore, and that seems unfair. All right, let's do this quest to the dig site. This feels very sneaky being on the other side of the fence, but we're here. Oh, hey, DJ. Give me a quest, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> these things, oh my god, these things look so janky. <laughs> 2006 graphics, baby. Woo! And quest completed. Not only quest completed, chunk completed. Woo! Alrighty, with that quest completed, we have done every single thing in the chunk. And look at it all, my goodness. Look at all those boxes ticked. Now before we roll, let's do a quick recap on what we did in the chunk. We took down the hill giant boss and acquired the hill giant club after a 100 hour stream. We took down the moss giant boss and acquired the essence to make the best in slot staff. We killed thousands of sour hogs to acquire a dragon spear from the rare drop table and used it to take down the calphite queen where we got a dragon two hander and a dragon chain body. And between hill giants, mosh giants, and sour hogs, we buried over 30,000 big bones to get our prayer to 70. We also got to level 99 in strength, hit points, and ranged. And that is only scratching the surface. This single chunk has spanned over seven episodes of progress, so I do recommend going back and checking those out if you haven't already. And my goodness, it's time. It's been 193 days, and we're here. So, Let's click the button and see what happens. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, we're going to have some stuff to do here. I'm actually going to enjoy this a lot. So we've unlocked ourselves another huge chunk with a couple of huge grinds. Notably, we have Barbarian Assault here, and we also have access to the Mithril Dragons down here. In this chunk, we have some fire making to do. We've got a handful of best in slots to get. We got this mini quest, Alfred Grimhand's Bar Crawl. We can do a little bit of that, and we can fill a couple of stash units. These ones are hard units, which I haven't been able to do yet because I don't have teak planks. But from Barbarian Assault, using medium gambles, I can get myself some teak planks. Teak planks are also good because I can actually build something useful in my house, being the Amulet of Glory mounted. That means I can actually use the glory to teleport. I can get myself to Karamja and to Draenor Village, these other two I can't yet, but they've been very annoying spots to get to. As well from the Barbarian Assault Gambles, in the High Gambles I can also get myself Mahogany Planks, but they're not all that useful to me at the moment because I don't have access to many other useful construction resources like Bolts of Cloth and so on. And while we're looking here at the Barbarian Assault Gamble Rewards, I can also get myself a Granite Shield, which is a new best in slot for ranged tank. And speaking of best in slots, if we look over here at the other rewards from Barbarian Assault, which we can just buy, we have a couple of things we need here too. The Runner Boots are a new best in slot for both melee and magic. They give a plus one magic boost and a little bit of defense on, uh, on melee. The Healer Hat is going to be a new best in slot for magic tank, which honestly I probably won't ever use this, but it's good to have just in case. The Granite Body is going to be a new best in slot for range tank. Now I'm going to go ahead and get myself a Fighter Torso as well. It's not actually required, but it is something that I think will come in super handy. Uh, Ranger Hat is something as well I'm going to get. Not a best in slot again, but it's going to help me against the Mithril Dragons. Because if we have a look over here at the stats... Comparing between using Void and Dehide against the Mithril Dragons, this one here, set 1, is the Void. It's 1.4 DPS, and set 2 is the Dehyde, that is 1.7 DPS, and it's also going to be better defensively against them as well. And while we're on the topic of Mithril Dragons, I'm going to have to kill a hell of a lot of these things, because I need to get myself a Dragon Full Helm. And just regular rate from these guys is 1 in 32,000, which is crazy, but I can also get Chewed Bones at a rate of 3 in 1, 2, 8 for the 1 in 256 chance to get the dragon full helm there, which is a lot better. And the chewed bones are the reason I need to get the fire making up a bit, because I need to burn the funeral pyre with magic logs, which requires level 85 fire making. This is also where I will eventually get the reward of the dragon full helm. 
And another small thing to note here as well, I can do the barbarian training. I don't know if that's going to be super useful to me right now, but yeah, we can do it. And I think that sums everything up. Let's get over there. Into the new chunk we go. Oh, baby. I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to BA. Wait. Who's over here dancing? Welcome to your new chunk. Thank you very much. All right. Um, what am I doing? I guess we just get into BA, huh? I'm actually really stoked to be here, though, and doing uh, doing BA. I remember really enjoying this uh, this mini game, and I'm going to enjoy it some more. Farming update. 69 farming. Well, I've been hacking away at BA a little bit. Done uh, a few runs, got a few queen kills, and we're about to get a fire making level now. Swapped over to fire making, 84. I'm one away from the goal already. But for BA, I really need a team. And playing with randoms like I was just doing then, very bad. Barbarian Assault has been going well so far. I just upgraded my attack to level 5. And yeah, plan is to get the Ranger Hat as my first reward. And then level up the Herb Law to level 69. Those farm runs have been very timely for me. I think I've almost got enough XP banked to get to 69. And with 69... I can make the anti-fire breath potion, which I'm going to need against the mithril dragons. So keep pumping away at this for now, and uh, soon enough, we'll be getting everything we need here. I'm making a head start on Herblaw now. As I mentioned earlier, I need to get to level 69 to make the anti-fire potions. I have almost enough banked. I've only got 40k XP to go. It should only take a handful more farm runs to get me there. If I used the Marantils or the Toad Flax, I probably could already get there, but I'm not using the Marantils because it's annoying to get the Unicorn Horn Dust. Not using the Toad Flax because I should save those for Sara Brews. I could also use some Avento Potions uh, to make Fishing Potions, but I'd rather not waste those and instead use them for Super Energies when I can get the Mortmire Fungus. Alright, I might be able to yoink some free XP off of this guy. I can. I'll throw that into Herblaw now, and that should help me along the way a little bit. It's so good to play with a cracked team. I'm done with playing with randoms. I'm with this team with, like, BA Chunk Man, and, like, we're getting 14-minute runs. This is crazy. But look at all the points I've accumulated so far. It's been great having a good team. Man. Whew. Getting some absolutely amazing runs over here. Look at that. 12-minute BA. That ain't bad at all. Man, I've accumulated so many points now, thanks to these awesome teams I've been having. This has gone so quickly, and now I have plenty of points to buy some stuff and buy some gambas. So, we're gonna do that now. Time to do some shopping. So, I can buy everything I need here. The ranger hat, give me one of them. The healer hat, give me one of them. The torso, the boots, and let's get the granite body. And now it's time to do some gambas. I got so many points. And let's gamble away all of them. G L to me. Archer Helm first. It's actually not a bad item, but <laughs> the Ranger Helm's gonna work better for me anyway. Again, watermelon seeds, pretty good. Nice for farming. Let's see. Oh, dude, granite shield. That's what I needed. One in 32, let me take it straight away. Okay. Well, now I need to do some medium gambles then. And, uh,. I can't do that at the moment because I need to get my room level up. These guys are so awesome. They've carried me to wave 5 and uh, now we're done. We're not going to the Queen so I can do my gambles. I appreciate that a lot. And Mr. B.A. Chunkman, you've done a lot for me. You've made this so smooth for me. I appreciate it. Whenever the hell I get around to editing and uploading this video, which might be like two months after, <laughs> go watch. Go watch this man. Let's see how these medium gambles go. We need the teak planks, a loop, a tooth, <laughs> a granite helm, a dwarf weed. Am I, wait, did I do high? Oh, oops. I didn't mean to do a high. Okay, well, whatever. Let's keep going. Some death runes. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, oh, dude, the teak planks. No way. Wait, so was that a 1 in 30? Two chance from five medium gambles too. Is that actually? <laughs> Did I actually just f finish it? <laughs> oh my god, the spoonery around here. No way. 
and I've still got some points to spare. Let's do a couple more high gambers then, since we got more points. We got some magic logs. And the palm tree seed. Okay, fantastic. Dude, I got so spooned there. A 1 in 32 <laughs> from 5 mediums and a 1 in 32 from 3 highs. That's crazy. Now that I have these teak planks, this is great because I can mount the glory in my house now. I'm going to go ahead, make a glory. Beautiful. And still got one in the bank to use. Off to the house. Alrighty. If I get myself a quest hall... I can build myself, oh my goodness, a glory mount, dude. Look at that, I can get myself to Karamja and Jane all so easy now. Woo! Look at that, that's so beautiful. Used to be so hard to get here, so annoying to get here. And same as for Karamja, when I can teleport here. That's awesome. I was not expecting to have Barbarian Assault done already. It's just crazy that it's done so quickly. I actually can't do the Mithril Dragons yet because I still need some XP from farming. In the meantime though, I can get the Herb Law up as high as I can, which we're sitting on 67 at the moment. We've got 68 banked and only like 15k XP to go. And I can also do a bit of wood cutting and fire making to get that to 85, which we need as well. So there's still a little bit we can do, but man, that luck on the BA was crazy. 68 Herb Law, we're well on our way. Okay, that's going to have to do it for this episode. Next time, we'll continue with the preparation for the Mithril Dragons and get into the killing. And before we go, a big thanks to my patrons. Invalid Cards, Dan Sleeman, Affinity the Rogue, J-Lo, and Burnt Prawn for continuing to support the series.